Today, part one of my AI solution for doing all of my culling in Aftershoot and all of my editing in a program called Imagine, which is quite incredible. Today we're talking just about Aftershoot, and then tomorrow we're gonna be talking all about Imagine and the actual finalized images. Uh, so that's, that's the intro. Keep waving, this is good stuff, man. New and exciting things uh, here in the studio. I was in, I, we did a bit of a tour. Uh, I was in New York City doing a video with Anita Sadowska, who is an incredible photographer, and we rented a studio that had one of these. So th this is a remote. This is our paper roll. There you go. Hit the button. Paper goes up and down. Does four rolls. I also spent a good amount of time with the Aftershoot team. Uh, they ran an event in New York City that I was at, and then we went over to WPPI in Las Vegas where they had a booth and they came to a bunch of our get togethers. Uh, one other thing to mention before we get into this here is that Focal is actually doing a WPPI offer. So to the end of this month, it began at the show, and to the end of this month, uh, if you are interested in getting a full Focal website set up, which is the same thing you heard me talk about all January, uh, they basically set an entire website up for you. They do a video call, they, they write out your copy for you if you want, and they're like, here's the first draft of your website, and usually it's pretty much the final. Uh, it also comes with a great CRM backend. Uh, the feedback that I've been hearing from the team is that uh, a lot of people are coming from something like HoneyBook, uh, where everything is just too complex, that there is just too much functionality for different genres of business individuals, not just photographers, whereas Focal is built all just for photographers, so it's a lot easier to get into and you can start using it instantly. There's really no setup or anything. Uh, there's also a 100% money back guarantee. So if you do start the process and the website doesn't end up being what you, what you think it is, just let Lachlan and the team know and they will get your money back to you. Uh, basically what's happening in the month of March, if you sign up before the end of March, if you're on the wait list, uh, you can still go by that offer. Uh, that's an all upfront one-time payment, whereas the offer for March is monthly. So it's $80 basically to start the process. That's your, your first payment and that uh, payment technically actually begins, it's kind of a placeholder, but it begins when your website goes live. So that is the first month there. And you're basically deferring the website setup payment over 12 months, so it's a 12 month contract, $80 a month each of those 12 months, plus the regular uh, monthly fee as well. Um, so it comes out to $135 per month for the first year for them to just build you a new website ready to go. Uh, you have as much feedback and input on that as you want. And again, 100% money back guarantee. After the one year, it goes down to just a regular uh, price for the, for the monthly. That's all, let's get into Aftershoot. So Aftershoot has had a few big updates. I'm going to do a screen record, and that screen record is unfortunately probably gonna make it a little bit slower. So uh, Aftershoot is now running natively on your system, and what that means is it's now as fast as your system. So you got something like this, uh, this M1 Mac Pro, it's gonna be pretty dang quick. Loading up Aftershoot, here it is. So brand new computer. Uh, if you have lots of albums in here, it'll be populated with lots of different albums. This is a brand new computer. And now I'm beginning all over again. So what Aftershoot is, is it is automatic culling for your wedding photography business. It works for family sessions, it works for couple sessions, but where I find it truly powerful, actually it's powerful within all of those sessions, anything with people, it's amazing at. But specifically for weddings, when you're out there, you're photographing 4,000, 5,000 images uh, in a wedding day and you need to bring that down to something like 600. Uh, that's where this really comes in handy. And I'll be honest, I have not used the version 2.5 yet, so I'm going to begin this process and I'm going to give you my feedback. I use this all summer with all of my other weddings and now version 2.5. So import from this folder new. It's going to load in. This is a full wedding. This is going to be how many images here? This is 2,500 images that we're going to load in and we're going to begin the process. In the past, this was the step that I would do when I got home from the wedding. I would sit down at my desk, I would load everything in, and I would just have it process everything uh, while I went to sleep, typically. And it did used to take that uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour to get everything done, sometimes a little bit faster. Um, but according to uh, Harshit and the team, uh, everything is so much faster now. So let us begin the process. Start culling. Uh, it's going to give me a little pop-up here, and basically you can uh, you can modify these if you want. How they come default, I'm kind of fine with. Um, what I don't necessarily need is sneak peeks, so you can just kind of say, say no to sneak peeks if you don't want them. And this will filter everything, so anything that will be colored green, uh, so if you're loading this back into, you can either additionally call within uh, Aftershoot here, or you can bring it into a program like uh, either Lightroom and call your additionals from there, or into Photo Mechanic, which I prefer, uh, and do your culling from there. What I mean by that is that this is going to give you a pretty accurate cull. It's going to get rid of any of the images that you don't need, any of them with closed eyes or blurry, or it's going to also flag all the duplicates. So it's going to give you what it thinks is maybe the best one or two or three from that set if you took five images. This is specifically helpful for family photos, that when you're going through family photos, you no longer have to verify in those groups of 10 that each individual person's eyes are open, that you just know 
any of the photos that it's going to select for you are going to be good to go. So let us begin with the next button. Basically the way that goes is if you're on the left hand side here, it's going to give you more images and you're going to have to maybe do a few more um, selects or you're going to call out a few more. Or if you're on the side over here, it's going to give you a much closer to final gallery. The, I guess if you're just starting this, I would say probably stick to moderate. Um, also, if you mouse over any of these, it'll give you Justin's face and it'll show you that, yes, this one is very blurry down here in the bottom right hand corner and they get increasingly less blurry as they go up. Or if you come over here, it's only going to select and give you the one that's the most in focus. So uh, let us begin culling. So as I mentioned, I am doing a screen record. I'm gonna kill that screen record just for a minute here uh, so I can let the, the program do its thing. But as you can see, it's going very, very quickly. Switching to phone cam here, it's been about a minute and uh, step one is almost done. So maybe we're looking at a total of maybe three and a half minutes for step one. Step number two, done in just a couple of seconds there. Uh, that was a lot faster than it was in the past. Um, now they wake up their magical unicorns. Unicorns are a key component of Aftershoot. And uh, this one, I assume, is going to take a little bit longer, but maybe not. It's already 3% done and it's been just a couple of seconds. So overall, I'm going to say 2,500 images has taken, well, it's, it's 10, 56 a.m. I'm going to say it's taken about five minutes total to go through all of this. And it looks like it's going to finish up this in maybe three minutes total. I am going to fire up another screen recording. So it's going to slow it down a little bit, probably really not that much. Um, but as you can see, 650 images total selected. It has identified 200 blurred ones and it's about, I would say, three quarters done at this point. Closed eyes, don't need those at all. Um, and yeah, I didn't uh, ask it to do any sneak peeks, so it's not tagging these as anything. Um, I, I don't know. You can, you can do that if you want. I find that from some selected images, I can very easily, I, kn I know the sections of the day where I want to pull images from, um, so it's usually not a problem at all. So here we are, finalized images. Love that the cat sock is just right up there. Um, you can see down here, duplicates 1160 images or 1160 images. Um, Anti-selected, called away that I don't have to deal with. Selected images just under 900, which I actually feel like is pretty good for a gallery. I feel like this has landed in a very nice spot where I'll probably still go through and I'll take, I'm gonna say maybe 50 to 60 images uh, probably away from the final delivery. But as a starting point, to have come home from a wedding and to just be able to go from 856 images, I would say is pretty, pretty darn awesome. So as you can see here, as we scroll through the gallery, you can make any edits. And if you decide that this is not an image for you, you can use the numbers and you can set it to something else. And then when you get to it, you can, you can save changes for it. Um, and it'll kick it out of this specific gallery and you'll never see that image again. You, it doesn't delete the image. And yeah, 955 images. Let's, uh, I guess, go to part two. So tomorrow, uh, come on back and I'm going to be going to Imagine, which is AI uh, actual editing. And we're gonna throw, we're basically uh, gonna throw all of these images into a Lightroom catalog, send it at Imagine and see what it gives us and how close it is to finals. Um, and yeah, that's all. And don't forget that focal deal. Uh, if you are interested in having a new website built in the month of March, if it's after March, go to bookvocal.com slash Taylor Jackson, and that will be the current offer. Um, if it is the month of March, 2022 right now, uh, head on over to bookvocal.com slash WPPI 2022. The link is, is down here and, and you can go and you can get your website built again, hundred percent money back guarantee. If you have your website built by them and you're just, you don't love it, uh, let them know. And either you can, you can figure it all out together or they'll send you your money back. Um, my website is built on focal and I am super happy with it. The back end that I use is also focal, which is, um, I don't know. It's, Everything you need, nothing you don't. I feel like that's a slogan for something else. But Lachlan has definitely heard from a lot of photographers uh, coming from other platforms and just how simple and how focal is kind of everything that you need uh, to run a photography business. So that is all for Aftershoot. Go grab Aftershoot. There's a, a link in the description below if you, if you want to use my referral code. You save some money. I get a few dollars from that and everybody's happy. Uh, that's, that's all I have to say today. I will see you again tomorrow for AI image editing with Imagine. Some loud trucks going by.